this is a uh, welcome initiative uh, in terms of having to push and further promote the Philippines Poland business relationship in terms of uh, uh, promoting dialogue and uh, encouraging more fintech uh, businesses uh, to thrive in the Philippines and uh, and of course we would like to congratulate the organizers uh, the Polish government and uh, led by the ambassador and of course with the uh, attendance of the deputy foreign minister uh, today and uh, it, was a, it was a great discussion amongst the panelists uh, this morning as we share all these uh, success stories no, of, of how we were able to leverage on that very good relationship between the Philippines and Poland and the only uh, takeaway is uh, on how to again uh, uh, you know further encourage more players in the industry to, uh, in terms of exchanging ideas and technological know-how and how it could benefit a uh, majority of the Filipinos who remain to be unpacked and underserved in the country today. Thank you. Yeah, you, you have been in at the forefront of uh, pushing for the digitalization and serving the uh, and bank here in the Philippines. As chairman of FinTech Alliance, how do you see the growth right now of uh, serving this and bank Filipinos? Yes, uh, we are very um, positive in terms of having to uh, achieve the twin goals or the twin outcomes set by the Philippine government uh, led by the Banco Central of Filipinas and what they call the Digital Payments Transformation Roadmap where it calls for the uh, you know, um, having 50% of uh, retail financial transactions to be in the form of digital and 70% of adult Filipinos to be part of the formal financial system by end of 2023. So I think the good news is that we, were able, we will be able to achieve those twin goals even prior to the end of 2023. So with all of these um, you know, metrics you know, and all of this uh, you know, empirical evidence to show that uh, if there is any silver lining that COVID pandemic has uh, given us is actually the acceleration of consumer adoption to digital. So, and, you know, the uh, bottom line is, uh, you know, this digitalization efforts, this, this financial inclusion and digital transformation initiatives uh, of both uh, public and the private sector will definitely redound to the benefit of uh, having more unbanked and reserved Filipinos to be part of uh, what we call the shared prosperity towards having a sustainable digital economy. Yeah, the RCBC has really made a mark, uh, like you accelerated uh, helping the Filipinos and back even in the remotest area. Uh, what inspired you to do this as chief innovator yes. of RCBC? Yes, uh, well for RCBC, uh, when we launched this Cartec as the country's first financial inclusion super app, in a matter of 30 days from the time that we launched this, uh, over a billion app downloads have been registered. And the good news is that 70% of our discarded users are from the provinces, and also 70% of whom are millennials or part of the Gen Zeners. So this will only show you that the objective of RCBC in terms of addressing or capturing that uh, uh, DE market um, has been uh, successful in terms of servicing their requirements, especially in geographically isolated and uh, disadvantaged areas. So uh, we now see uh, uh, about 80% of all these transactions uh, happening in, you know, in remotest barangays. And uh, if we are to look at the gross transaction volume and value, we have registered an exponential uh, growth rate of up to 8,544% or four digit growth rate. Uh, for growth, uh, for the gross transaction volume and value year on year. So this would tell you that indeed um, COVID-19, uh, while it is a health uh, menace on a, a, a global scale, um, this really prompted more Filipinos to really shift to digital. And now we are seeing the, the fruits or the benefits of this digitalization efforts. Yeah, any message to the Filipino people? Yes, uh, of course, to all our, you know, to our uh, fellow Filipinos. I mean, we, we know for a fact that uh, all of our, all of these initiatives no, being provided to you by all the uh, providers, no, um, be, be banks or fintechs uh, and other players in the industry. The whole objective is on how to develop uh, a digital ecosystem that will redound to the benefit of every Filipino, every consumer. 
uh, with the end in mind of uh, you know of promoting consumer protection. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, we want uh, everyone um, to feel the you know the benefits no, or the advantages of going digital, as it uh, promotes transparency, efficiency, and speed uh, in terms of financial transactions.